don't be camera shy. And easy. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, my dog Scarface. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to do some DIY mementos for your furry friends. So without further ado, let's get started. The first project I will be doing is a canvas photo collage. For the first design, I'm going to be taking a flat canvas and painting it with two layers of white acrylic paint. Canvas is done drying, take some inkless pad paper and press your dog's paws on the designated areas firmly. If your dog is a little restless like mine, have someone there with you to help calm them down as moving will affect the prints. I'm using an inkless pad print that is used for babies as dog prints are roughly the same size, they work well. You can purchase these on Amazon. I suggest getting a package with many as it can take a few tries to get a good print. Be sure to either use baby powder and or spray adhesive to seal the prints. You don't want these to smudge. The next step is really easy. Take the photos of your furry friend and cut them out in the way you want. When you've arranged how you want them, tape them down. Framing really pulls the whole look together. You can also paint the frame and add their names for an even cuter look. The next design I will be showing you is a bristle board series look. Since the paper is already white, you don't need to paint the background. I decided to use these three photos that were taken of my dog Scarface when he threw himself on the ground refusing to come back inside. Once again, tape all your pictures down to secure them in place. To add a little more color, I will be taking this neon green acrylic paint and painting a thin border around the paper. As you can see, this paint can be quite sheer and may require two to three coats. And you're finished! I honestly feel that the ink prints appeared much better on the bristle board paper and would highly recommend using it. You can buy a pack for about $6 at Michael's. Once again, please seal your pet's prints as drying is not enough to stop them from smudging. how both designs turned out. After I was able to get the prints to look how I wanted, the rest was easy to do. I think this is a beautiful memento to make and would suggest this to all the animal lovers out there. Don't worry on making everything look perfect. I think the imperfections in these designs make it all the more beautiful. On behalf of my dog Scarface and I, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this inspired you all to create your own DIY projects. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!